Hi, I'm going to show you how to edit pictures. Um, this isn't going to be professional. This is just a picture that I copied off the internet. Maybe I want to post it on Facebook or use it on something. And I just want to change some features of the picture. Okay, so um, what I use is Photoscape. I got it off the internet. Uh, Photoscape.org. It's free and that's what I'm going to use. Okay, so let's go here to Photoscape. Okay, when it opens up, I'm going to go to Editor and it's automatically going to where um, I have some pictures. I, I put some pictures on my desktop in a folder called ESO Images. Um, there's some elves that I took um, that I copied off the internet. So I'm going to click on one of the pictures. So let's say that I want to get rid of this um, frame, this black frame on the top and bottom. One thing that I could do is crop it. So I'm going to click on crop. I'm going to go to the um, top left corner of uh, what I want to keep with my and press down my left mouse button. And I'm just going to drag over to include everything that I want in the crop. And then I hit crop. Okay, anything that you do on um, the computer, you can undo by holding the control key down and the Z. You can get it back by hitting the control key and the Y. Um, okay, so I still have some of the bottom frame. I can either do it over or... Um, just crop it again, but I'm going to do it over. So up here, and I want to get all this here. Okay, and then I'm going to hit crop. I still don't have it. Okay, so I'm going to hit crop, and... I think I have it now. Okay, so let's say I want to save it like that. I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to go to save as so I can keep the original picture like it is and then this is just going to be a um, an edit of that picture so I'm going to it was called ESO Elf 1 I'm going to call it ESO ESO Elf 1A okay so some other things that I can do there's a lot of features in this program I'm not going to go over but you can go in and just play around um, I'm going to click the home button and I could resize my picture. So I'm going to make the width 800 pixels. It'll automatically set the height so that my proportions of my picture stay correct. And I click OK. OK, so there's different things that you can do with this picture. There's, um, there's a sharpen button um, where it lets you play around. Just go in and play around with the picture, and uh, let's see what else. Here's a film effect. There's different different things where you can uh, change your picture to look a certain way. Um, just go in and play around with the different buttons and see what it what it does to your picture. Okay, there's tools now. On tools, there's a clone stamp. So this is kind of cool. Um, I'm not real, real good with it, but what you do is you can, um, like, let's say you wanted to get rid of the face altogether. You could clone this background over to, to there. So whatever's in the leftmost picture is circle is going to go into the right. I mean, this is something where you could, to try to get rid of, um, parts of the picture. Okay, I'm going to hit Control Z a bunch, of, a bunch of times to get rid of that. Get it back to the original picture. And then Control Y to go back to where I was. Okay, so what else? There's an effect brush here. So this is kind of cool where you can, let's say you wanted to make it sepia. Okay, and then you're just using the, 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 um, the left mouse and coloring with it. Okay, and it's giving it the sepia tones, okay? Um, using the control Y to go back again. 
other effects. There's um, here's a mosaic. So if you just want to make a picture and different effects that are available on this uh, on this uh, this program. Um, also, let's see. Did I save? This I don't remember if I saved the larger picture. I could save that as a larger picture. So now I'm going to call it 1B. Um, another thing, like here's a picture with um, two elves in it, but I only want one elf. So I could use the crop button to crop one of them out. So again, I'm going to hold down the crop, left mouse in the corner, and just get the picture of the one person, hit crop, the elf on the right disappeared, and then I can resize this picture to be a larger picture. Okay, um, I still have this guy over here, but that you get the you get the point of what you can do. Also, you can, let's say you had a picture and you wanted to put some kind of editorial on it, you could um, use a paintbrush. Here's the paintbrush. Let's say I wanted to put a, a red X on part of it. You could, and then you could save it, and then that's a picture that you can, you know, uh, use on whatever you're using it on. But these are just some things that you can do. There's this red eye correction. So if you're playing around with photographs and you have the red eye, you can play with that. Um, there's just different options. I just use this mostly for um, something that I'm going to post on, on on Facebook and you know play around with the picture. So I I don't get real professional with it, but um, there are different things that you can that you can do with this. Okay, so.